Hairstyles with braids, step by step. Today, I'm going to show you a few hairstyle ideas that you can use on a daily basis. For option number one, I'm gonna show you how to do a French braid with elastics. For this, you wanna take the hair on your crown section and tie it in a ponytail. To make your hair look neater and nicer, what you can do is give it some volume with the back of a comb as I'm doing here. Next up, you wanna flip your pony to the front and pin it with a hairpin. That way you can take another section, finger comb it nice and tight to get rid of any hair bumps, and you wanna tie it with a small elastic as well. You wanna be sure that you tighten your second pony. Now it's time to release the one at the top, split it in two, take the bottom ponytail and flip it up. Now you wanna pin it in place with a hairpin and it's time to take a new section of hair which includes those two loose sections you left out earlier and you wanna tie everything together with a small elastic. You wanna tighten that and release the top section, divide it in two, Take that bottom pony, flip it up, and pin it. Next up, you want to take those two loose sections and what's left of your hair and tie it with a small elastic. And you want to repeat the same steps over and over again with the rest of your hair. Remember, you release the top pony, divide it in two, take the bottom one, flip it up, pin it in place, take those two sections, bring them together, and tie them with a small elastic. Now it's time to release the top section, divide it in two, take the bottom one, flip it up, pin it in place, take those two sections, bring them together, tie them with a small elastic, and you keep on doing this until you reach the end. For the last crossing, all you wanna do is release the top section, bring the two together, and tie them with a small elastic. And that's it, you're done. You can leave it like this, which looks really cute. Or when you reach your neck area, you can divide your hair in two sections and do a fishtail braid. For this, you usually have two sections and bring little pieces of one of them to the opposite side. You usually do this over the front, but I'm doing this from the back. So I take a piece, bring it back to the opposite side, take another piece, bring it back to the opposite side, and I keep on doing this until I'm done with the rest of my hair. Once you're done, you want to tie your hair with a small elastic, pinch on your braid a little for some volume, and that's it. This is the final result. As you can see, by combining different braids, you can create really unique hairstyles. For this option, you want to divide your hair in two and make a really straight and clean part. Next up, you want to tie your hair with a small elastic because you are going to be working with the other section and you don't want this to bother you. Bring your hair to the back, take a section at the top, divide it in three, and do a few crossings. Now you're going to start French braiding. For this, you want to add hair to your outer sections before crossing them under. So you add hair, cross under, add hair to your outer section, cross it under and you want to repeat the same steps over and over again until you're done braiding the rest of your hair. Once you reach your neck area and there are no more hair sections to incorporate to your braid, you just keep on braiding as you normally would until you reach the end and then you tie everything together with a small elastic. And now it's time to work on the opposite side. You're going to do the exact same thing. You just take your hair, divide it in three and start French braiding. You adhere to your section before crossing it under, adhere to your outer section, cross it under and you keep on doing this until you reach your neck area once there's no more hair left to be incorporated to your braid you just keep on braiding until you reach the end as you normally would and tie everything with a small elastic you could totally leave it like this but i decided to open one of my crossings and pass the braid through now open another crossing a little bit further down and do the same thing and do that one third time so that my two braids are together you can tie them with a small elastic and this is the final result. Once again, you could leave it like this or you can take hairpins and bring the two braids together at the top. This way, the braid looks much more intricate and complicated and this is the final result. 
Which of the different hairstyle ideas did you like the best? I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me on Facebook, Twitter, and on my website www.patrickjordan.com. Share the love with your friends and see you soon.